Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to Attack on Titan Season 3 Episode 17. Guys, we're in Season 3 Part 2 right now. The last few episodes have been insane, okay? We stumbled upon an ambush that we actually saw coming but still couldn't predict how they would act. So in the end, even though we expected it to happen, we fell right in it and now we are pretty much boxed in between the Beast Titan and the Colossal Titan. The Colossal Titan completely ignored our existence. He slam dunk Eren into the wall and is continuing to walk towards the horses, but we, uh, and by we I mean Irvin, um, devised a plan where uh, pretty much we sacrifice all of us <laughs> for a slim chance that Levi's gonna, you know, manage to sneak up on the Beast Titan and, 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 you know, slit his throat or in this case his nape. So yeah, that's gonna be very interesting. We already started charging mindlessly. It's a distraction, obviously. And yeah, the Beast Titan is having the time of his life. He's just, you know, pitching. He's playing, uh, you know, baseball with the and he, I think we're all dead, bro. Irvin, everybody, he just destroyed all of us. Okay? Irvin admitted that he was being a little selfish all these years, trying to, you know, get to the answers by using everybody else. But now, he had to put his humanity on the line, right? He was like, hey, there's my dream on this side, and there's uh, humanity's survival on this side. And in the end, he was noble enough to choose this side, right? So, I theorized in the last episode that our only chance is for Levi to somehow slit the, the Beast Titan's throat without him actually seeing him coming and then maybe finding Irvin half dead but not quite there yet, you know, and then giving, giving him the syringe and then maybe gonna eat the, the Beast Titan or something like that. That's my prediction. That would be dope. But yeah, this is going more and more towards that, uh, you know, end credit scene where the only ones that survived were Levi, Eden, and Mika. Casa, which is, man, when you think about it, what the hell is happening, right? So guys, I ain't gonna prolong this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring that bell for notifications, guys. Follow me on Instagram, Joe, my Discord server, and my Patreon page. Without further ado, man, let's jump right into this reaction, because the last episode was hype, hype. So man, I'm excited. Let's go. The title is Hero. They're, they're all heroes at this point. Man, this is just atrocious. A cruel world. Oh. Damn. What did he say? I'm sorry, I gotta go back. You're not like your father, right? What the hell does that mean? Like, your father? Who the hell is his father, man? What the hell is happening, man? This man is just, you know, he's pitching. He's he's just <laughs> throwing rocks. <laughs> like, whoa, man, listen. Looks like we are repeating history here. Looks like all of this already happened. Maybe that has something to do with all those flashbacks that Adam keeps having. But then again, those are probably memories from his Titan. But ever since the beginning of the series, Adam has been getting uh, weird dreams and all that. So maybe that's... His memory is kind of, you know, slipping through because they were erased and, and I don't know, but what, from, you know, from what he said here, I gather that, man, they, they, they've, they've been having all these plans already and they already failed and somehow ended, you know, trapped in within those walls and now they're repeating their mistakes because, you know, history is there for us to learn from our mistakes. If you erase history or alter it, you're bound to repeat it, so... Okay. They're all gonna die. Probably. Hitch? Uh, your life is flashing before your eyes because you're about to die. Damn. Where's Levi? Oh, there are more survivors! Levi! They're creating a smoke screen!
I mean, listen, Irvin did a splendid job devising this plan because, yeah, the smoke screens are to, you know, cover Levi approaching and them screaming are, you know, he's distracted to the max and he's actually getting pissed, which also works to our advantage. So I'm expecting Levi to just pop out of that smoke and, and maybe he, maybe he, maybe he's gonna do it, bro. If he does that, that, that would be insane if he actually manages to kill the, the beast Stein and feed him to Irvin. Like, man, if my theory turns out to be correct, guys, I'm gonna be a legend. Let's go. Uh, all the Titans? Yeah! Where, where's Levi, though? He's already there! <laughs> yes, he is! <laughs> Damn! <笑>巨人化直後体を激しく損傷し回復に手いっぱいのうちは巨人化できないそうだったよなおい返事しろよ生きてる奴はいねえのかいやエレンミカさんまだ生きさえあればこの注射を使って巨人にする Bro, this is all I'm telling you. He's gonna find Irvin half dead, you know, almost dead, but not quite there yet. He's gonna use the syringe and make him eat the beast time, bro. Listen, what the hell was this spell? Leave the beast time didn't even stand a chance. Leave I just like he was fast as hell, man. The way he was just chopping, he he just analytically did it, you know, skillfully. You know, first his hands so he can catch him, then his eyes so he can see them, then uh, you know, so he falls and then he just brought he butchered him. This is the moment where the beast titan actually met Levi's beast mode. Like what the hell was that? I love man, listen, I, I love Levi. This was very similarly done to the OVA we saw him in, you know, when, when he lost it against that Titan, that abnormal eating his friends. Man, the way he just went around his arm and, man, the base Titan couldn't do anything. And plus, you guys told me that in the last episode, I, I supposedly miss, I missed uh, that uh, human Titan as well that was carrying the luggage on its back. He called the Beast Titan by his name. And you guys told me it's Zeke. Zeke or something like that. Zeke. I don't know how to pronounce it. So yeah, I apparently missed that. But let's continue, man. This is insane. Exactly! Oh, the other one! Oh, no! Come on! Why were you so reckless? Damn, he can order them? Not good! Please, please explain to me how is this guy able, bro. He doesn't have an arm, bro. Oh, <laughs> man, Levi really put the work on him, man. But yeah, how is this guy able to command the Titans like that, you know? He did it in beast mode, you know, in previous episodes as well, you know, when he first appeared. Uh, granted, some of them didn't listen to him, so he popped him like a cherry, bro. But yeah, look, like he's in human form and he's just screaming at them and they're listening to him, just like Eden. So why do they need the coordinate? Like, why do they need Eden if he can do it as well? So, you know, that's kind of also he mentioned his pops. He was like, you're not like your dad. You need to be able to enjoy yourself a bit more. So what the hell was that? Was foreshadowing some shit like that, man? Looks like this isn't Eden's dad. So I, I don't know, man. Listen, let, let's. Oh, 
Okay. He has more. This man survived. He barely has a scratch. <laughs> I love it. Bro, I completely forgot that Reiner is back in the picture completely. He's healed. We have the Colossal, the, the, the Armored, and the Beastein. Well, at least we whooped Beastein's behind and he retreated with the other one. But now we... Man, now we need to eat one of these guys if we don't get to the Beastein, bro. And it looks like that kid that survived is going to be the next Titan. Which I really thought it was going to be Irvin. Did Irvin survive? Uh, I think he might have. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's... Yeah, that's just insane. What? Yeah, and we saw him getting thinner as well. He was barely... Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting, but uh... <laughs> yeah, he finally he finally came up with a plan, and I for one believe I get what where he's going with this. If he's thinner, he he used pretty much everything to to push them away with that steam. So now he's gonna be able to do it less and less if they just keep attacking him, right? Relentlessly. In the end, he's gonna run out of steam and then he will be open to, you know, anything because he's slow as hell, man. So that's his weakness. Man, what the hell? Is he gonna get him out of there? Bruh. He pierced him. Man. Really? Now you're gonna insert the mid charts? <laughs> Let me just read them real quick. So these mid charts pretty much told us what our guys know about the outside world, right? They only saw it in the books. They only read it, you know? So most of them, some of them like Armin and Eren joined the Survey Corps to pursue that dream to see all that in person, man. Man, I would, I, if I was in that world, I would want that too. I might be a scaredy cat, you know? But, you know, every venture outside those walls is seeing a bit more of the world. So, hey, in their, in their world, in that cruelty, even a moment of happiness is something. So, let's continue, man. Okay, so his... Historia, everybody praying. Okay. Yeah. He ignored you. He doesn't care about you, man. How are you gonna stop him now that he knows what you know? He knows about all of your tricks. He survived them. He's not gonna be susceptible to them that easily again. And now he's just charging towards Eden in the colossal time because he knows that's their main prerogative. You guys are insects. You're not important. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mikasa is just. Every time she hears that Eren's in danger. Woo! Good, good, good. Okay. What do you mean? What? Oh! What? Okay, so looks like Reiner actually sustained some heavy brain damage from that last explosion. He doesn't remember about their tricks and weapons, right? He's, he doesn't know how she did it. 
Damn, so he's just that, he, the only thing he remembers was that Adam was the plan, that's why he's charging towards Adam. He doesn't know, man, this is, this is, this is. Uh, uh, he doesn't know that Adam's the plan, that's why he's charging towards Adam. What? だったらどうしようかなって Man, this all looks like a suicide mission, like he's saying goodbye, man. Come on, Eren, don't let him do it. Come on, please don't tell me I'm r Man, listen, please tell me I'm wrong. Nah, that was on purpose. That, nah, they're trying to trick him somehow. That was too clumsy, man, what the hell? You're not tricking me, so... Okay. We can do it. Okay. Oh, she's hurt. They missed. But they missed the other half. How? What is Armin doing? What? Isn't this hot as hell, man? That's steam, man. You remember the, the last time that how that guy reacted with he he hit them with a the steam for a few seconds? That was hot as hell, bro. So yeah, it's steam, like you know. So wait, what you're telling me is that's what Aaron figured out that he only needs to latch on to 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 you know to bone and not the muscle. That's why they couldn't latch on before because they went for the muscle and he uses that. For the steam, so now he went for the teeth, and that's how he's holding on. But now he's getting fried like a, you know, chicken in a fry pan, man. What the hell? Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna let go. That's what he meant. Yeah, that's a plan. No, no, Eren is, is... Damn, woo! Bro, he's getting evaporated! What the hell? He's getting fried, man! Bro, why? What's the the plan here? Like, even if Adam's faking, what's he gonna do? Oh, Hanji! <laughs> She's alive! <laughs> 
He sealed the wall! Oh! <laughs> Did he use... Oh my god! Bro, I was all the... And Armin was right, but he died, bruh. He was scorched to death. What a way to go out, bruh. Armin? He was a sweetheart, man. He, the, the most gruesome death yet, man. Yeah, right now, you died. He sacrificed himself. Damn, yo, he's mummified. Look at this. He doesn't run away. He did run away, guys. He held his own and and damn, that's just to be continued. The only thing here is that Berthold said they did this. You know, Armin was a distraction for for you know to buy time for Eden to do the hardening thing. But the first hardening he did in a second, bra. It didn't take him any time at all. And now suddenly he needs more time. But I guess. It was also a diversion because Berthold kept looking at that and so he couldn't do it right away, you know? So he, you know, purposely waited it out for him to lower his guard completely and then he hardened and got, you know, he got out and, and around him to, bro, this episode, bro, they, they took down everybody in this episode. Everybody, the Beast Titan, the Colossal Titan, the, 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 the Armor Titan, everybody. I think, I think uh, Berthold, he severed all his limbs. Did you see that? And it ain't taking any prisoners. But so Armin's dead. Everybody's every pretty much everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. So is that why Levi was so pissed at Adam? Because uh, he let everybody die. But Hanji's alive. Hanji, man, I knew she couldn't die. She was too important to die off screen like that, you know? So she came in with a clutch and, and, and you know, she broke Reiner's jaw and, and just set up the circumstances perfectly for for Mikasa to do her thing. We really turned this around, but when you think about it, we brought three titans down, but the beast titan escaped, and these two, you know, Reiner's probably dead, and Berthold is probably gonna be eaten, but by who? By that one kid that survived? Man, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how, but this is reaching closer and closer to that end credit scene where the only ones left are pretty much... Levi, Mikasa, and, and Eren, I don't know, man, so far we still have Kony, Sasha, Jean, you know, Hanji, which is good, capable people survived, but something tells me that we're gonna get another ambush or something, because that other humanoid titan that ran away with, with the beast titan is still somewhere out there, so, I don't know, guys, I ain't gonna prolong this that much, man, I enjoyed this episode, but it was a very gruesome, very unpredictable, what the hell was that, Armin torturing, like, he torched himself, for the greater good, he torched himself. Did you see the remains? He's burned as hell, man. Dead. That's the most gruesome death because he had to endure that. And Berthold kind of picked up the steam because he wanted to, you know, spare him the suffering. Man, I don't think you did it, bro. That's that's the most horrible way to die, man. Do you know how... Ha Ugh, damn, I'm not even going to get into that but yeah guys i i enjoyed this episode uh, i know it sounds messed up <laughs> considering everybody was chopped up and you know burnt and, and and died gruesome deaths in this episode but it was still enjoyable i like that sort of shit it's just man our man i really didn't see that coming but yeah as soon as he, as he said i'm not the hero type i remember the title hero and i'm like yeah yeah they're setting this up man they're setting this up so he sacrificed himself for his boy and to go and fulfill their dreams for both of them man that's and in the end, 
his philosophy, you know, went through. He said, I'm not losing because I'm not running away. You know, he, he, he didn't run away. He didn't quit. He didn't leave it be when he could have survived. He was like, no, a few seconds longer. My life, everything, everything, you know, he just burnt away, man. Damn. Damn. Okay. Okay. I can't wait to jump into the next episode. Looks like the next episode is gonna, you know, show who's left and what the hell happened. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Love you.